on everybody it's your favorite auntie mo and we are back for another episode review of love and hip-hop hollywood this is season six episode 14 sound off before we get into the review if you have not done so just yet go ahead and subscribe to my channel let me know what you think about this video give me a thumbs up or thumbs down and then hit the notification bell so you will know whenever i upload new content thumbnail real quick this episode of love and hip-hop hollywood y'all i'm so ready for this damn season to be over with April about ran my damn blood pressure sky high with her foolishness and her fuckery. I don't know what gives this big head half of the right to think she has any say in any goddamn thing going on between a father and a mother and they child. But you know what? I'm already skipping ahead as it is. Hopefully y'all are ready for the review. I got my Moscato and I'm, I got my fan. Y'all already know. Moscato make your auntie what? Hotto, okay, so hopefully y'all are ready for the review because I'm ready to give it to you So let's get right on up into it. Yeah Okay, so it's picking up where it left off last time. They at the whole skating ring April and Fizz just came in announced to the whole rest of the group that they had a little item They're a little couple now then when Monice walks up they both walk away Dismiss her like it ain't nothing now Monice's whole thing is she don't give a damn about little fizzle pop, little teeny fizzle pop. She don't give a damn about April. She don't give a damn about neither one of them being together. What she gives a damn about is her son. And the fact that April feels like she can disrespect not only um, the situation or the, the, the parenthood between Fizz and Monice, but she also feels like it's her place to say what goes on with their child and all of that. I don't appreciate that as a mother. My, I have a stepdaughter. I would never get in the middle of my husband and hit the mother of his child and what situations they got going on with the child. Now, Monice made perfect freaking sense. Look here. The moment you have my child lying to me, I got a problem with that. And she better than me because I'd have popped my damn child for lying to me. I don't give a damn what your dad said. You're not going to lie to me. It's going to be a problem between me and you, me and my son, and you're causing friction between Monice and her son. That ain't right. That ain't right, bitch. And uh, damn, what's this big head home name, April? Bitch, you of all people should know. You sat up there and this whole season been dragging it out about how old treats you wrong, how he dismisses you. Y'all have to communicate through lawyers. Maybe you got a problem with the fact that April and, I mean, that Fizz and Monice still can communicate with one another and you can't even talk to your baby daddy. You got to go through goddamn lawyers. So, girl, pump your brakes, slow your roll, reel it back, and calm your ass down for a minute. Have several seats. Because what she, baby, when I tell you, oh, auntie, slow down. Because you, when I get to talking real fast, that means, oh, she heated. She going there. Look. So, Monice goes outside. April then says, let me go out here and talk to this damn girl. Bitch, that's where you messed up. Again, aside from overstepping your boundaries. Because had it been a bitch like me. Oh, and they, April is she, bitch, you lucky you caught the calm Monice, okay? Had it been the Monice two, to, hell, probably even a year ago, she'd have snatched your ass up. You glad she had to deal with Monice and not Monique because I'd have took your whole head off your body. I'm still growing and I'm still learning and it's a blessing to God that I don't never have to go through no situation like that. So, anyways, like I'm saying, April comes outside and talks to Monice, and she's basically like, what do you need to talk to him for? Y'all don't have a friendship. Bitch, so what? They don't have a friendship. You know what they have? They have a relationship. You know what their relationship is called? Cameron, they son. Big head asshole. She is girl. Oh, I just couldn't stand it. Then little teeny fizzle pop comes up. She finally talks to him. He's like, what? What's the problem? What do you want to talk about? The whole time, April sitting there like... What's the problem? Bitch, ooh, had it been that just, mmm. Did her ass how ghost did Tasha just with two fingers, bing, right there. Set your ass down some damn well, heifer. You my doggone problem. I, girl. So, little teeny fizzle pop is like, okay, well, what is the doggone problem? She's like, when a crazy bitch does that, <laughs> you know what that means? <laughs> Do I want to go to jail or do I want to let this bitch live? Now I got, 
Bitch, you got shit to do, lady. Let this hoe live. And that's exactly the kind of laugh that she gives. Because whenever I do that laugh, bitch, if me and you get into it, and I say, <laughs> that means, should I let this bitch live? Or should I take her whole hand out of her shoulders? Baby, it couldn't have been more naked had me so goddamn on head. So, I mean, so damn mad. Then little teeny fizzle pop is like, if we ain't talking about camera, we don't have nothing to talk about. Monisa's well, thing is like, well, why do you feel like me and you can't have no healthy co-parenting relationship? Every big head hoe you get with feel like they can disrespect me and you allow them that space to disrespect me like that. So he don't want to talk about it. He dismisses her once again, goes out to the side, laughing with April. Then he's like, you had a whole lesbian relationship around my son. I didn't say nothing about that. But guess what? She introduced AD to you. You knew what the hell was going on with her and AD. It wasn't no shock. It wasn't no surprise. And your son didn't have to lie to you about nothing. That's the big damn difference. Regardless of what she felt about the situation. And that's her whole thing. Regardless about what she feels about the situation with y'all two. You can't disrespect, bitch. That's just what it is. That's what it is. So... She goes outside and, you know, she's crying to her. Marie goes to console her. Jason Lee goes out there. Zells goes out there. And Jason Lee, surprisingly, made sense. He's like, when you tell your truth, you crazy. You tell yours, you crazy. When I tell mine, I'm being messy. But lo and behold, these motherfuckers been lying a whole dog on time. And they just come out like, surprise, we a couple. And what you worried about it for? Bitch, I mean, girl. Mm -mm. Y'all. Britney B is in the studio with some chick named Asian Doll or some some kind of doll. They're in a booth spit hot fire like Dylon spit hot fire. Y'all, I just can't get into Britney B. I can't. I can't. I cannot. Like, I mean, she was trying to give this whole another sad thing about you know I've written for a lot of people I've written for Bad Baby and the song went viral and went on the charts and I feel like I'm always getting passed up for light skinned girls and I'm Grammy nominated and I got a I'm a writer, producer rapper, carpenter, singer I bake bread I do bitches edges you know what I'm saying I fix tires Bitch, I'm a notary. No, bitch, it's you. It ain't got nothing to do with your talent. It's you. People see the bullshit through you, and when people see the bullshit through you, they don't want nothing to do with you. Thank you for writing my song, but no, bitch, you can't be on this track. Ain't one of Lyrica have a little romantical picnic in the park. He got one of his hood niggas that went out the hood and, and took drama classes and music classes to come play the little violin or whatever. They was on some real romantical shit. He went to, um, China, uh, what was that, um, Cheesecake Factory, because that's where they had their first day. That's so he had bought us some Cheesecake Factory. Now, bitch, that's how you get a bitch like me, Cheesecake. Oh, thank you, nigga. But it's A1. It's Rocks. If y'all don't follow It's Rocks on YouTube, go follow her. She had me rolling earlier today on her review on Love and Hip Hop. Baby, she calls A1 Diamonds and Pearls. I about, every time I hear her say that, I about goddamn pass the fuck out. Diamonds and Pearls, bitch. And every time I see him, I hear, if I gave you diamonds and pearls. That's my shit. But anyways, they have a little romantical part, you know, um, picnic in a park or whatever. It was so cute to see Lil Ocean get so happy when he seen his daddy. He started kicking them little legs. He looked just like his damn daddy. He's cute though. His daddy, uh, uh, he don't favor nobody. But oh, that baby is so goddamn cute. So she's just basically talking about, you know, she doesn't know if any of this is going to happen again. Of course, he's saying it's not. He wants his family back. She's like, all right, well, nigga, let me see your phone. Girl, that's, bitch, if you don't trust him, you got to go through his phone right there. Trust me, you, you, to get from an old bitch that had to learn, don't go looking for shit because you going to find shit. Y'all won't, uh, let the nigga slip up on his goddamn own. If you got to go find it some shit, bitch, no, it ain't going to work. Don't even do it. Don't even do it. But she goes into his phone, goes to his DMs, uh, his DMs, and she sees ass and titties, ass, ass and titties all up in there. She's like, look here, see, nigga, this is shit I'm talking about right here. What is you DMing bitches for? He said, because he need him for a video. What video, nigga? Are you shooting a video for your clothing line? 
Then go set your ass down some damn well. She was like, look here, well, you know I had talked about getting an apartment, and so I just don't know if this is going to work. I ain't want, I don't know. Uh -uh. He like, look here, well, let's do this. Keep your stuff in storage where you got it. Come back to the crib. We going to do a little trial run and see if it's going to work with me and you. Look here, when you married, bitch, ain't no such thing as a trial run. Either you in it or you out. That's all it is to it. Ain't no trial run. You married, you go back to the house, bitch, y'all together. <laughs> that's what it is. Unless you done signed the paper, bitch, y'all together. You back together. That's just what it is. She going back to the house for a trial run. Now, your toothbrush there? Do you have a drawer with your bras there? Or your tampons and pads? In a, bitch, y'all married. Ain't no, ain't no, get, get, get the fuck out of my face with that shit. That just got on my damn nerves. Monice goes to Hollywood Unlocked. And if y'all seen the Hollywood Unlocked interview that she did with Jason Lee, you already know, bitch, she spilled all the tea. All of the doggone tea. First of all, Jason Lee apologized for the sex tape, and I thought that was really big of him. You know, the more I'm watching this, I'm starting to like Jason Lee. And Jason Lee didn't seem like he would be somebody that I would like just because he's super messy. But he does really, he has a good side to him. Who the fucking thunk it? But she goes, she spills all the tea. Of course, they talk about little teeny fizzle pop in April. And again, Monisa's whole thing is I don't appreciate the fact that you have my son feeling like he has to lie to me in order for there not to be any kind of tension or anything like that. Like, that's not right. Regardless of what the both of them got going on, your son should never feel like he has to be in a situation where he has to lie or he can't fully indulge with you how his day was or how he was with his dad or, you know, shit like that. Because her thing was, I asked my son, okay, I heard y'all was moving by me exactly what street it is. And he like, I don't know. Uh, you got to ask my daddy. I don't know. Right then and there, as a mom, that's when you reach over, pow. You popped the motherfucker in the mouth. Who you, excuse me? Excuse, say what? I'm gonna ask who? I ain't asked that shit, I'm talking to you. That's just me though. That's just me though as a mama. So, he asked her, you know, like, why don't you just go for real though? Let the old monies come out just for a minute and snatch that hoe. Just snatch that hoe. But Monice is like, no, I'm gonna keep my hands off of her because supposedly she's supposed to be with child anyway. Child, they say it's a rumor, poor, I mean, she was pregnant with a fool baby. Everybody getting pregnant, popping out babies nowadays. So child, we gonna hear about it. Either one of two things is gonna go. Either she gonna be pregnant or they gonna be broken up in a little while. Cause the way that they got together was real messy and God don't bless no mess. So the way that they got together, you never know. It might be the same way that they split up. Just saying. I'm an old school bitch. I believe in karma like that. Yeah, this next scene was stupid. It was slick and Mickey and Zell's and Zell's um, little dun -dun -dun, her name is Star Divine. They they surfing at the beach. Mickey damn near drowned out there trying to surf. Boy, it's a lot of things that white boys can't do. Just because you look like a surfer don't mean your ass is to be out there surfing like Set your ass down on the goddamn beach somewhere. He out there damn near goddamn drowned. They talk about the whole skate party, how, you know, the high was his performing, the low was all that bullshit that happened with Monice and April and Fizz. Zell's gonna have the nerve to say, I'm just happy that now they living in their truth. Nigga, okay. His little dun dun is there, um, Star Divine, she, you know, says it's her first time dating a bisexual man. She's always wanted to do it. He's into women now. And they on the beach. Moving on from that. Yo-Yo in a booth spitting hot fire like Dylon. And your baby boy, what the drama about? Don't make me pull up in the grass at your mama house. She did that. Yo-Yo be popping even now. Put out an album, Yo-Yo. I'm gonna buy that shit just because I was rocking to you when I was a little girl. Grew up on your damn music, and I'm finna be rocking your ass now. Go ahead and put you a goddamn album out. Bitch, I support that shit. Britney B and Apple Watch come over there. Uh, Apple Watch. <laughs> they go over there to the studio because this is Britney B's first time meeting Yo-Yo. She's... Girl, she was kissing Yo-Yo's ass. I don't give a damn nobody. Say, I don't care what nobody say. Britney B had her nose all the way up Yo-Yo's ass. She probably needs to flick some shit off the front of her nose. How far up her nose was up Yo-Yo's ass. 
she was saying that um of course y'all asked who she was what did she do she's like i'm a grammy nominated singer songwriter producer esthetician cna ma md um pharmacy rep street pharmacist you know what i'm saying and I sell food stamps, you know, just running down her whole damn resume. Yo-Yo was like, you know, she was cool to me, her whatever. Yo-Yo's like, oh, so you rap, you sing, let's get in the booth and do something. And of course, Brittany B's like, oh my God, pitch me right out. Oh my God. And so, bitch, she's so damn fake. I just can't get into Brittany B. I can't. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I can't get into Brittany B. I can't. But Apple Watch was there. She my bitch. Lyric is on this little shopping thing with her mama. She's looking for this outfit for She's doing the, the pre SB some kind of event when she's performing. And um, what she didn't tell her mama is that A1 is um, because mama asked, you know, what's going on? She hadn't talked to her in a little while, asked how she was doing, asked was A1 going to be at her performance. Of course, she said, yes, A1's going to be there. Mama, like, what you say like that for? She's like, you know what I'm saying? We're just working on some shit. But she didn't tell mama that A1 is going to be helping her with her performance, meaning, you know, putting the stage together, the sound man, the hype man, the choreographer, the makeup artist, the stylist, the yes bitch hype person on the side. He's going to be doing all of that, right? So mama like, okay, so what's going on with you and A1 and y'all's whole situation? She tells mama about how A1 says for her to move back in on a trial run. And mama said the same thing I said, like a trial run, y'all are married. If you in or you out. And she's like, the one thing that I told Erica the day that she moved out from A1 is if you do this, whatever decision you make is yours. But just make sure make sure you stand firm in it and you don't backslide. And she sees that her daughter is backsliding. I'm so glad that Mama Lyrica, Mama Lyrica G was there to talk some sense into this damn girl. Because Mama asked her, do you think he loves you? And um, Lyrica's like, mm -hmm, yeah, I know he loves me. She was like, okay, well, while you're pregnant, he cheats on you before you're pregnant, while you're pregnant, after you're pregnant, at, and all of this. And you still love this man. You still want to be with him. And of course, that made Lyrica break down because, you know, she's still not over it. And that's another thing, girl. You're still not over that. And when you get to a point to where you can talk about it and not be emotional, like, and say you've forgiven him, then you really forgave him. But right now, and I understand that it hurts. I, I get that. But, girl, but they still together any fucking way. She went no damn well. Hunt and diamonds and pearls, they still together. So why is we even, girl? Little teeny Fizzle Pop and April moving to their new place. Fizzle Pop said it wasn't the same place that he looked at. They went with another place and they think that this works perfect for the family child. They probably seen some on this motherfucker credit. Or they probably seen when he was running from the laws. He got some dope cases and some shit like that. Nigga, shut up. But they moving into their new place. They talking about how Monice has been online. If y'all follow Monice on um, IG, you know she went in, baby. <laughs> she went in with all of it. The one thing I love about Monice, a lot of people say she batshit crazy. Honestly, from the very beginning, when she was on seasons before, I knew the girl wasn't lying about nothing. Because you could see that Fizz was just trying too hard to make her look like the bad person. And for the longest, yeah, she didn't say nothing. And then on top of that, somebody who's guilty of being this person that Fizz, Fizzle Pop, is making her out to seem like, she just said something a long time ago. But now you know that this girl has mental health issues. Now listen, I am clinically diagnosed with bipolar depression, okay? I understand the highs and the lows. You know what I'm saying? And quite honestly, I don't know if Monice has ever been diagnosed with, I think she said she was diagnosed with situational depression, but you got some anger shit in there too, girl. I'm just saying, one crazy bitch to another. I'm just saying. But I like Monique, uh, Monice's honesty, and that's the one thing that they try to say she's batshit crazy, but the bitch ain't lying. She ain't lying. You know what I'm saying? Although this whole thing about April being pregnant, Again, it could be the complete truth. She could have been pregnant with the food baby, or this is something that we still have yet to see. The season ain't over. How many more goddamn episodes of this show is left? Because the season is not good. I'm ready for Love and Hip Hop New York to come on, because it's going to have my bitch Chrissy on there, and I'm ready for Chrissy. That's my bitch. I love Chrissy. But, um... They move into their new apartment. They talk about the whole rumors and shit like that. April got her ass cheeks out. It is what it is. I don't give a shit about them. Lyrica is at her sound check. A1 is there. He's over there getting into it with the sound check man. Big Lyrica G walks in, see everything that's going on. She's like, what the fuck is y'all doing up in here? Why is this nigga over there yelling with his nails and shit all in the way and the hair just flying? Like, what the hell is going on? 
he get into it with the sound man because yes, the sound man sound like he was being a little condescending, but I'm sure A1 was coming off like an asshole as well. They was trying to work on Lyric a sound check. Shit wasn't really going right. Um, A1 ends up cussing out the sound man. Then um, um, Big Lyrica G and Lil Lyrica was sitting up there talking, and then A1 ends up coming up because at that time, Big Lyrica was telling Lyrica, Lil Lyrica, like, look here, this the last thing you need. You finna have a whole performance, and this motherfucker over here stressing everybody out, cussing everybody out. Like, this the last thing you need. Stress out of your life, period. Just then, A1 walks up, child, he tries to hug Mama Lyrica, Mama Lyrica, like, if you don't get your motherfucking hands off me, nigga, we ain't cool like that. They start to kind of get into it. Then he's like, you know what? I'm not completely innocent. We both are guilty in this. Look here. For y'all niggas to both had fucked around and played on each other. You both forgave each other. But you both keep going through the same bullshit. What in the hell are y'all going to do? Either y'all going to stay together, y'all going to leave, or y'all just going to keep arguing about the shit. Because at this point, it looked like y'all like arguing about the shit. It just get on my nerves, y'all. I just can't do it. So Monice invites Tierra and Maria over. They have some pizza. That pizza look good as shit, too. They just talking about the whole thing that happened. Tierra and Maria is basically being a friend there for her. When the same way Monice was there for Tierra Marie, when she was going through her shit, Tierra is there for Monice and she's going through it. And Monice is going through it right now, y'all. Again, like I said, I've dealt with my own depression, still do from time to time. So it's very easy for somebody who's never dealt with depression or never dealt with certain levels of depression because you know there's there's different spectrums of depression that there's all kinds of depression there seasonal situational clean i mean there's all different kind of depression out there so if you've never dealt with it it's super easy to say you know you just, just gotta suck it up like you, you gotta be okay no shit you gotta be okay because you gotta make it every goddamn day so no shit you gotta be okay it's just dealing with with shit every day is very hard if you're in that situation and right now like she said that was a trigger for her and so it's caused her to just everything that she's ever felt bad about or felt you know any kind of ill feelings about is all it comes back to you all at once and that's what she's dealing with right now and it's fucking hard as hell to pull yourself out of that it can literally feel like you are walking through quicksand it it, it it sounds crazy but when you are when you deal with depression and you are at your low 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 it it is literally like you cannot peel yourself out of bed it's it's easy to put a fake smile oh it's easy as shit to put on a fake smile but that's why a lot of people say this check on your strong friends hell check on your weak friends because everybody needs somebody to check on them whenever they are going through it and tiara marie is there for monice and i appreciate tiara marie for that tiara marie you coming in you be that bitch girl because i'm rooting for you i've always been a tiara marie friend if friend, I mean fan, and bitch, I want to see you get it together too. You know what I'm saying? But y'all, the episode ended from there. Again, this episode was not that good. I'm ready for the season to be done. <laughs> if it was anything that I missed, y'all already know. Put it down there. Let me know. Please don't forget, like, comment, subscribe, share. Follow me on my socials. They are in the description box down below. And Auntie Mo, we'll see y'all in the next video. Peace out what's up y'all do me a favor and share the video please make sure to subscribe to my channel let me know what you think and um hit that notification button so you will be up to date when i upload my latest videos i have